somewhere in the dead of space, the starship Scuttlebutt has been unexpectedly attacked by hostile aliens. In the first Scuttlebutt, its captain has been killed as the damage pers- pierced the hull. Can the remaining crew save the day and escape by repairing the now heavily damaged jump core? Find out on the captain is dead. There's been a direct hit. Reduce the shields by 20%. The enemy are still attacking. Their torpedoes have slapped into the side, causing critical damage to the weakened shields. Torpedo overload. The torpedo tube is offline. All players in the armory are injured. Torpedo has crashed into the torpedo room. Luckily, it hasn't detonated the torpedoes, but the poor soldier in there has been injured and the ability to use the armaments has gone. Scanners offline. Reduce tech shields by 10%. External scanners are offline. Discard all face-up alerts. The scanners have gone down. There is no sense of what's happening outside. The crew are blind as the power surge further weakens the drain shields. The teleporter overload. The teleporter is offline. All players in engineering are injured. Sparks flash as the teleporter overloads, arcing across and catching the engineer, injuring them severely. The person most likely to be able to save the ship is now in grave danger. Computer offline. Reduce the shields by 10%. Discard the skill deck. The computer has failed. Its ability to control the shields reduced. Further impairing the ship's ability to defend itself and reducing the crew's ability to access the skills held in its data banks. So, as the Admiral... Com system is still online, so I'm going to transfer one of my engineering abilities to the engineer for my first action, and the same again for my second action. The Admiral is transferring his abilities from tablet to tablet to the engineer, though the engineer is unable to do them. Then I'm going to spend two actions and a command to draw two battle plans because I can draw two and choose the best one and I've got system bypass to make it so mm. the Admiral is checking the battle plans trying to figure some plan to help them out of this dastardly plight this is a difficult choice I can either repair two systems for free or make a jump core with Repair. I'm going to do two systems because we need that teleporter. So I've chosen system bypass at any time. Repair up to two systems as a free action. You do not need to be in the system's location to use this card. You may not be able to repair the jump core or shields. I'm going to take my free action and repair the teleporter. And the mystical guide advises the Admiral to use a battle plan that enables him to remotely repair both the computer and the teleporter. This may enable people to get the injured engineer to the medical bay. So that's the Admiral's turn, so this is Alien's turn. Armory injuries, add two hostile aliens to the armory, all players in the armory are injured. The plight of the poor soldier in the armory grows, as though already heavily injured, he gets trampled as two aliens teleport in, taking control of the room. Engineer's turn. She is going to teleport herself to the infirmary for one action. Luckily, 
The repair performed by the Admiral has enabled the engineer to teleport to the infirmary to heal themselves. And then the second action, I'm going to heal myself. Having recovered, the engineer carefully considers what the best move might be next, waiting for advice from the overarching guide, who seems stumped. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to decide. I think I need to go to the cargo hold so that I can, from the fourth action, take a tool. A torch, which will let me do repair. The engineer in the cargo hold grabs a tool, not meaning the invisible guide, and prepares to work on her next action. No, well, that was her last action. Increased gravity anomaly. Move one space for one action instead of two spaces. Teleporter is unaffected. The ship's gravitational system heaves, forcing extra gravity throughout the ship, making it harder and take more energy for anybody to move. Tactical officer... going to repair the shield. It's going to take her two actions, but she's going to repair the shield using her two tactical that she already has on her card, and that lets her draw two random skills from the skill deck. The tactical officer desperately fumbles at her console, increasing the power of the shields, hoping she can prevent any further damage to the ship. Two, four, six. The hidden guy struggles to count. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what else can she do? She's going to use her fourth. That was two. See what I mean? Actions. Then she's going to teleport the engineer back to engineering using the teleporter. And she's going to teleport the Ensign to her. The tactical officer has a bright idea. The engineer is best in engineering, especially with the damage jump call. She teleports the engineer there while realising that she may need more help. She teleports the sometimes inept Ensign Blusher to the bridge. <laughs> ensign Blusher. <laughs> ah, but the torpedoes are offline now. Reduce the shield. The torpedoes are already offline. Reduce the shield by 10%, so undoing her good actions. With a bit of relief, the tech clock is, uh, is glad she did some repair to the shields as a surge of power through the torpedo system causes more damage. So, the soldier, being a soldier, what's the soldier's special ability? Remove all hostile... Uh, aliens at the current location for one action. The hidden guide suddenly realises they need to realise how to work, so we guide some of the people they're working Thanks. with. Thanks. Uh, so we've done that for one action. And then we're going to... Teleport to the infirmary, that's two. Counting. Yep. Using Three. a patented counting system created by Mel at Rob's gaming table, the hidden guide keeps an eye on what's going on That's the table. The only for four. Meanwhile, the soldier recovers, taking a very brief visit to the infirmary. Alien fighter, whenever the shields take damage, increase the damage by 10%. You need that teleporter. Alien you? fighters come in. Attacking the ship from the outside, but with the torpedoes down, there's nothing that can be done. Unless maybe the now heals soldier at some time can repair that system. Only time will tell. So, as the science officer's first action, spin one to research the anomaly. She's got one, two, three, four science. To do that, which gets rid of that anomaly. The science officer 
desperately working, figures out the cause of the increased gravity, managing to override the ship's gravitational systems and bring things back to normal. Her second action, she's going to take a science from the engineer. For her third action, she's going to give the engineer engineering. And for her fourth action, she's going to take the science from the engineer using the comm system. Desperately talking across the comm system, the science officer and the engineer discuss the best ways to fix things, giving some science advice to, unexpectedly to the science officer, and even more unexpectedly engineering advice to the engineer. Core intruders had three hostile aliens to the computer core. While everyone's fumbling around trying to work out what to do, further aliens are invading the ship. Despite the two dispatched by the soldier in the armory, three more now appear in the ship's central control system. That would have been useful to stay there. Never mind. The invisible guy muses over things that never really happened. Peanut gallery. Um... Take a chance, she doesn't need to be there, so she's going to move to engineering for one action. The medical officer has delusions of grandeur and heads to engineering, thinking he's that a counsellor. The counsellor, not the medical officer, who was living in the infirmary, so obviously is slightly confused about what her duties are, has moved to engineering to give some counselling to the poor engineer who's suffering from a certain amount of uncertainty. So that was one. Two to give engineering to the engineer. Three to exchange command for science using her ability. Councillor has delusions of grandeur and starts advising the engineer and on engineering. Four to transfer science to the science officer. Then proceeds to get onto the comms and advise the science officer on science. Then that's it for her. Teleporter offline. Reduce the shields by ten percent. Teleporter is offline. With a surge and a pop, the teleportation system goes down, the energy draining the shields further, leaving the ship even more in danger from any enemy ingress. Okay, take free action. So he's going to, because he's in with the tactical officer, so he's going to take as a free action. No, he only has a helmet of four, he can't. Stop. The invisible guy briefly gives some bad advice but corrects themselves. Com systems online. She's got six cards already. Mm. What will it blush and do? Only time will tell. Mm. The invisible guy suffers briefly from analysis paralysis. <laughs> briefly. <laughs> Permanently. You're hopeful. But. Um, teleporters offline. One. Yeah, because that's gone. Two, three, four. The brave Ensign Blusher surges through into the core, engaging the three aliens in brutal hand-to-hand -hand contact, cutting them down with his pocket knife. This is bad. Calm off learning. Reduce the shields by 10%. While whirling round like a dervish, on both of those, because I forgot about this guy. His knife accidentally cuts a cable, taking down the comm system, 
spark surge as the eight as the shields fail still further, coming very close to the ship, falling open to any enemy attack. Okay. Time is running out for the crew. Admiral is going to choose for two actions, two battle. No, don't cheat. Can any time move on the hostile alien into the cargo hold or the Admiral? Making decisions while hiding in the war room, tries to formulate a further plan. Who could I give engineering to? I could give it to the counselor, couldn't I? Yeah, mechanically inclined. Place this card on any role that does not already have two engineering discounts. Give it an additional engineering discount for the remainder of the game. Giving some quick and valuable advice to the counsellor, he manages to build on her budding confidence in engineering and thus enable her to perform more tasks with ease. I'll do another one. Two. Extra set. Extra set. Sitting back into his chair, getting quite comfortable with his role, the Admiral drinks a cup of tea and continues to formulate a further plan. Tools will allow me to use the torch twice. So we will hold on to that until it is useful. The Admiral spots this location for some more tools and sends that information to the engineer, thus meaning the engineer will have more abilities as she works desperately on the power core. Okay, so one less action. And two less engineering. So one action and three engineering. She already has two. So she spends one to make three. And repairs the jump cord by one. Desperately working as fast as she can. The engineer is buried in wires and cables. As she plugs and cross roots parts within the power core to repair it. Second action. And we'll also do that. But now I need it one less engineering. So... Four engineering, so we need to spend two of those. Then that discard. Following tool. in the footsteps of her mentor, Montgomery Stott Scott, in little time she manages to get two levels of repair, boosting the level of the en engine and getting it close to the point where it can engage and hopefully they can escape the aliens. And third action is repair the teleporter. Knowing transportation is vital to get round the ship, she pauses briefly to fix the teleporter. And fourth action, take the engineering from the counsellor who is in her location, so that's okay. Briefly asking for advice on some a little problem she encountered, hoping that maybe the counsellor can come up with something. Hang on. Other way. Will that work? One, two, three. No, we won't get that enough. Never mind. Briefly, the invisible guide tries to turn back time, then realises it won't work. Engineering intruders add three hostile aliens to engineering. And then what the counsellor is doing on her turn. Oops. The aliens, aware of the hard work of the engineer, have now stormed the engineering section, trying to prevent the jump core being repaired and the escape of the scuttlebutt. So the first action for the tactical officer is to repair the com systems. And then desperately working, feeling alone and trapped on the bridge, more. the tactical officer repairs the com system. Repair the shields and draw two random skills. Knowing if the ship the shield failed all is lost. She does a quick repair, gaining a little bit of power, with hopefully gaining a little bit of time. Fourth action, transfer the engineering to the engineer, and then discard down to my six. And that is... Yeah, that's the tactical officer's turn. 
Irrational Fear Anomaly. Player may not use or repair systems if no other player is present in their location. The science lab is unaffected. Knowing that there's a good chance they could die, all of the crew members start to quake in fear. The engineer and the counsellor desperately clutching to each other. Ensign Blusher curling up into a ball in the CPU core. And the Admiral even spilling his tea. So the soldier can remove all hostile aliens at any but one location via the security station for one action. He's got the command to do that, so he's going to remove one of those for his first action. Can they perform an action when they're on the road? Uh, can't repair, use or repair systems. Oh, let's see. Keep in this trait, keep in this trait. The invisible guide briefly makes a mistake. But the, but the soldier realises he cannot remotely kill the aliens. Two, three, four, so that's two actions. As a result, charging through the ship as fast as they can. Three, four. They storm into engineering, killing two of the aliens as they charge through, smashing them into the back wall. External scanners are offline. Discard all face abilities, all players on the bridge are injured. No, that's not them, that's them. Sparks fly as the internal scanners fail zapping through the poor tactical officer as she desperately tries to repair the shields. He is gone, so silence officer, that's going to take one action. And... Yeah, for science, she has two, she'll discard those to make four. And that will get rid of this. The science officer tweaks the ship system Fueling a calming gas throughout the ship, relaxing the crew and enabling them to come back to their senses and return to their desperate defence. Random skills. Some more action. Two actions to teleport her to the infirmary. The tactical officer is teleported, wounded, burnt to the infirmary to recover. Three actions to teleport him. With a startled cry, the soldier is teleported from engineering back to the armory despite their effort running across the ship. Fourth action. The clock is ticking while the invisible guide tries to make up its mind what to do. The ship slowly trembling in the dark and the crew's life ticking away. Fourth action. Direct hit, reduce the shields by 20%, plus 10% from that guy, the torpedo tubes are going a to kill A com torpedo comes straight in, smacking into the side of the ship, draining almost all that's left from the shields, with the tactical officer not in place on the bridge to do anything about it. Death seems imminent. Literally. <laughs> Thanks for the commentary there. Uh... Kill the alien for one, the counsellor. The counsellor turns round, knowing the power of their superior brain, and headbutts the alien into oblivion. Then pauses, wondering what to do next, because time's not really an issue for her. But that could just be the concussion. Can she get some tactical from somebody? Because she needs that. Can she get enough? No. 
No one seems to have any ability to fix the shields of the tactical officer out in the infirmary. One action. I'll get an extra action because I've got somebody with me. So I have five actions. So that would be. Let's think. That would be my second action. In space, an alien on the command ship falls over, probably having had too much to drink while celebrating how well they're doing on the second attack. Action. Third action. Reading the comm system. Fourth action using the teleporter. Desperately seeking. Ah, I don't have enough advice from the tactical officer. The counsellor learns all about tactics and searches to the bridge. Backing and up. Pauses as time rewinds. Because that doesn't have enough actions. Think about this again. I'll use one action. The great mythical being in time and space pulls time back, giving the council of a chance to do something else. Ends and Blusher, having recovered Three. from his fear in the core, Four. charges to the bridge. Four. 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 On the command of the councillor. Then stumped and has to wait for instructions because he's only an ensign. <laughs> Thanks. For I don't know what to do with my last action. What do I do with my last action? No. He's stumped. On the bridge, not certain what to do next. I'm too scared to do what teenagers normally do when they're stumped and ah. have time to spare. Five. Okay. This is going to kill us. No. Okay, add two hostile aliens to the war room. All players in the war room are injured. That did not kill us. Aliens storm the war, war room, knocking over and burning the Admiral as his tea spills all over him. The ensign has the two tactics and two actions. He lies there on the floor, Repair. clutching some very vital parts with hot tea all over them. Shields by one. Meanwhile, the crew desperately managed to repair the shield slightly, but not enough. Three, and heal her for four. Calm system is offline. All players on the bridge are injured. Sparks fly across the bridge. Luckily, there's no one there at that point in time to be hurt, as the tactical officer is just recovering in a smooch with the ensign. So, back to the Admiral. At any time, place all the tools that have been removed from the game back into the cargo pod. Not an action. Two, three, no, one, two. Three to stand up. Wasn't he injured? Yeah. Um, no, three, four. Good call. Thanks for helping me not cheat. Internal sensors are offline. Discard the face-up skills. And everybody in the computer core is injured. And they're not dead yet. Explosions come from the computer core. Luckily, there's no one there currently. So, Ensign Blusher lives up to his two, name three, as the Admiral teleports into the infirmary, oh. catching him in his smooch. Okay. A brief anomaly in time and space causes the game to stutter. Um, Meanwhile, back to the Admiral, teleporting into the infirmary, causing Ensign Blusher to live up to his name as he's caught in his smooch with the bridge officer. How dare you? Okay, so she 
how is she going to do this? She's got one, two, three, four, five engineering. And she could just do one repair, two, three, four, and be back in time, but oh, that's just not good. That's all she can do. She can go to cargo hold for one, torch for two, back for three, one, fourth will be to repair using three engineering. Clicking that over, and that's her four actions. Did I repair it? No, I didn't. That's the repair. No, please don't tell us. Sent two hostile aliens to the science lab. All players in the science lab are injured. Two aliens storm the science lab. The science officer collapses with shock at their terrain having been invaded. The aliens think they're winning. Tactical officer. To save the day, the tactical officer to the bridge. shoots to the bridge, teleports to the bridge. One, two, three, to repair the shields. Does a quick temporary repair to the shields. And draws two random skills. Desperately trying to keep the ship functioning. And then fourth action, sending an engineering to the engineer. She finds some information on engineering as she's working. Tactical. And transfers it immediately to the tablet of the engineer who's desperately trying to get the drive online. Can they manage it in time? Another ship. Another alien fighter surges to join the first. The two of them must surely be enough to overload the shields. Yeah. And send the scuttlebutt permanently into the void. The soldier has got no engineering. That was stupid. One engineer. Oh, come systems are fine. Oh, that was dumb. The invisible guide berates themselves for potentially bad earlier decisions. Silence fills the void. The crew desperately trying to think if there's any way they can save themselves. One, two, three, four, but that's not enough to use it. That was stupid. The soldier desperately shoots the infirmary to gain some advice on restarting the torpedo systems, then shoots back to the armory, but doesn't have time to fire. Oh my god. Add three hostile aliens to the active player location. And aliens sensing the weapon systems coming online storm the armory, injuring the poor soldier. Science officer, one, two, three, four. The science officer takes down the aliens, then drags themselves to the infirmary. To say, I'm impressed about how many of these people managed to kill the aliens while wounded. One, two, three. But the effort's not enough. Just as the science officer makes it to the infirmary, a final disastrous torpedo crashes through the ship, hitting and overloading the jump core, causing a catastrophic nuclear eruption that vaporises the ship and everybody within it. Now it's no longer just the captain is dead. The entire crew of the scuttlebutt have joined it.